I started off my career as a corporate transactional lawyer, but quite early on I started to specialise in advising professional service firms. And I've advised um, on quite a number of um, professional service mergers over, over the years. And the key thing I've learned is that the value in any professional service firm is in its people. And both in terms of the run-up to a merger and um, post-merger, the two important things are firstly getting um, the approval of the partners, which can often be a fraught process, and we can guide um, clients in how to achieve that on both sides of the fence. And in terms of post-merger, the important thing is to keep the value in the business, i.e. to keep the, your people in the business. And we often try to structure a deal so that it both encourages partners to stay and also deters partners from leaving. So you'll often see in those types of transactions um, provisions around lock-in periods, um, good bad lever provisions, um, deferred consideration if there's consideration involved, and also more stringent restrictive covenants that prevent partners from going to competitors um, within a certain period. And ultimately, what we can advise you is to how to um, keep the firm together and keep your people in the business following the merger.